Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about ways that you could really speed up your editing inside Media Composer using keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts make it super easy to get commands we use all the time without having to actually use the mouse. Commands like in and out markers, lift, overwrite, add edits, and I could go on and on. Imagine how long it would take for you to edit if for every marker you had to position the mouse where you wanted it, then drag the mouse up to that button, press it, and you see where I'm going with this, right? It would take forever. Getting familiar and really knowing keyboard shortcuts will make you stand out as an editor because after all, time is money and if you're an editor that can save money by speeding up the editing process, producers will love you. Let's take a look at all the default keyboard shortcuts that Media Composer gives you right out of the box and then I'll show you how you can really make that keyboard your own. First, I'll go to File, then Settings, and then under User, you'll find Keyboard. A little keyboard will open up and just look at all these shortcuts. I always suggest that new editors really get familiar with these and make them part of your muscle memory. Now, you'll notice that there are empty spaces on this keyboard because Media Composer allows you to create your very own keyboard shortcuts. In fact, you can customize every single key on this keyboard, even if they're taken. And I know editors that actually do that. I should caution you though, if you're an editor that might move around from workstation to workstation, this might not be a very wise choice. Now, you can throw your user settings on a thumb drive and take them with you from machine to machine, but what if you forget that drive one day? You're not gonna be a very happy camper. You'll have to relearn how to edit or spend a lot of time reconfiguring the keyboard all over again. So just because you can change every single keyboard shortcut doesn't necessarily mean that you should. So let's add some shortcuts to our keyboard. First, in order to do this, we'll need the command palette. So I'll go to tools, then command palette. This will bring up every possible command inside Media Composer. The command palette gives you three modes. You have button to button, which allows us to reassign buttons. You have active palette, which allows the command palette to be an active tool. So you could leave the command palette open and use it almost as a controller where you have access to every command inside Media Composer. And lastly, there is menu to button, which actually allows you to put a menu option as a shortcut. So let's say I wanted to place the command palette on F8. We would choose menu to button, click on the F8 button, which would highlight it, and then go to tools and select command palette. You can see that F8 will now bring up the command palette. Cool, right? So let's quickly assign some shortcuts. I'll choose button to button on the command palette. Let's go into smart tools, and then I'll simply drag overwrite trim from the command palette to F5, as I've already added segment lift and overwrite to F2 and F3. It's that easy, just drag the command from the command palette over to a space on the keyboard and you're done. And don't worry if your keyboard gets full either, simply press the shift button and you instantly have almost a whole new keyboard to assign. I hope that you can see that configuring and learning your keyboard shortcuts will definitely speed up your editing inside Media Composer. 